three when you pull it out. Creighton's in the attack mode. We'll see how it works out. Our starting lineups are sponsored by Jeep. There's only one. And for Creighton fans, there's one bright spot in that lineup. Alex O'Connell, they weren't sure he was going to play. Not only is he going to play with a sprained ankle, he's going to start. You'll notice Isaiah Nywe for St. John's making his first start since December 18th. That's because Joel Soriano is not going to play. He's out with a left knee contusion. That's a big loss for St. John. Oh, absolutely. He was playing very well. Of course, O'Connell, when I walked in, was taking some jumpers. How do you feel? Feel great. He's a gamer. Had a great one against St. John's earlier in the year. O'Connell had 28 against St. John's. More good news for Creighton, not the deepest of teams. But Arthur Kaluma, who's missed the last four games with a knee injury, expected to go for some limited minutes tonight. Uh, very important factor, too. Makes a couple of threes. Rebounds, puts it on the deck. This is a tough matchup, I think, for Nywe. Talk finding so effective, slipping on the screen and roll, great around the rim on both ends of the floor. A load up and a mismatch. And Hartle launch from the top. And a rebound underneath, out of bounds off the leg of Culpin. Well, we know what we're going to see from Mike Anderson's team. 2021 Big East coach of the year, third year as the head coach of St. John's. Never had a losing season. I can't relate, by the way. <laughs> uh, this gets his just to play hard, and Champagny with the ball has started to assert himself a lot more on the offensive end. Speaking of stepping up, this kid has played well, really. You saw a lot of them at Purdue, right? Yeah, a lot of them. Not this much of a scorer at Purdue, though. Averaging 14 points per game in Big East play. Yeah, Harkin's so confident player. Really understands the game. Great feel. This will leave it back behind for Nywe. This is Alexander trying the three. And into the arms of Trey Alexander. I like the way Alexander's been playing of late. He end up with a good shot. Paul Brenner trying to clean it up inside. It'll tear him into the hands of Julian Champetti. Nice balance. Out of blue. Mathis will launch. Off the heel. Both teams cold to start. Terrific screen. And that's what you can't do. Sloppy passing. And Alexander gets St. John's on the board. They all jump the passing lane beautifully. Nightly is surprised. One five straight now the longest winning streak in the Big East Conference. Yeah, they've been impressive. Of course, the lean team, not really deep. Eight scholarship players available tonight. Two of them kind of banged up with O'Connell and Paluma. See if he can go to work here, Cork Renner. Against Nywe leaning in and he gets the hook. Well, you see, you've seen him so much slipping out that way. He has really established himself as a very good offensive player as well. It's been such a huge part on both ends of the floor mm -hmm. for this great team. Offense and defense at a foul called against Ryan Nemhard. Fouls will be big tonight for Creighton. They do not have a lot of depth for Greg McDermott to go to on that bench. He's going to have to maybe roll the dice a little bit more if foul trouble comes up. He's going to work on his personality, you know? <laughs> not very engaging. And you mentioned Clark Brenner. Such a deterrent at the rim. And there's O'Connell. First time we've seen him move with that ankle. It's his right ankle. It's heavily taped up. Looks like he's moving okay. He didn't look good today, though, did he? No. Like the on the no. And Nickel Dimer on the dribble drive. First on Wheeler. We watched Alex O'Connell. He's really never had much of an injury issue nursing that sprained ankle. He was really kind of ginger at practice today as he banks <laughs> home the three. Who needs an ankle? I didn't hear him. Did he call it? Oh, a little smile on his face. Well, he can really stick the jumper. And very athletic, too. Big time hops. Mathis wants to put it on the deck and create as he does here. A little discard. Back up at the elbow to get the two for Montez Mathis, the former Rutgers Scarlet Knight, having a nice season here. I think he even used the word former more this year than ever have in your life. No question. He transfers. Nice more. Hawkins will try. Hawkins will hit the three. They hit 14 of those in the first meeting in Omaha. How about that? Buckman didn't get a roll to the rim, but opened up on the replace for Hawkins. Penny trying to get a goal. The Big East leading score. The tip try up and in. Posh Alexander will get credit. May have gotten off the hand of Ryan Hawkins. 
Uh, well, this is the key. Uh, now they can set up their press. Uh, Greg telling both of us we need stops so they can't get into that full court energized D. Two point lead for the Jays. A double high, one rolls, one pops. A little off on the timing on the post up for Cook, but a nice step back. Seven to shoot. O'Connell has to launch. That three is short, and the rebound to Aaron Wheeler. Alexander on the run to Champagne, leaving it for Wheeler. On the attack, and Wheeler blocked off nicely by Colkbrun. O'Connell really did a nice job staying at home on Champagne. Alexander. There's the irony again, making an impact early. Mathis, his pocket pick loose on the floor, and Hawkins able to get it. I mean, it's amazing how Hawkins is always in the right place on both ends of the floor. O'Connell at three off, and Champagne the rebound. I'm talking to Mike Anderson, he went through the whole lineup saying he was worried about all of them. <laughs> Champagne, cold start for the Big East leading scorer, 0 for 3 from the floor. He's a good post up guy off the bounce. Ooh, footwork. Be patient he, he's too. clever. He took a break a couple of weeks ago. He, he, this kid's going to play someplace. I'm not saying NBA. And he's got like such a game that fit in a lot of places, particularly overseas, I think. That's your part of 177 wins at the college level. There are some overseas teams that would love to have that kind of competitive. <laughs> he is a winner. All knocked out of bounds off the foot of the Blue Jays. And a timeout on the floor, and Ryan Hawkins making a big impact early. Oh, not too bad, huh? Get the puppy! And number five, Dylan Adeyusu. Dylan and Omar Stanley on the floor for St. John. Today, Wusu will inbound to Stanley. Excellent pass for Wusu. Not afraid of the big shot deep. Stanley very good around the rim. Not a guy that's going to make us some of those deep ones on a frequent basis. Is way off on that three. And then Hyder started up the floor to Hawkins. Beats the field to the rim. They're going to count the bucket. It wasn't going in. And it'll be an opportunity for one more at the line. It's unbelievable. An and one on this. I love the energy, but this wasn't going in. This was a miss. Pretty good effort. Maybe a message. Patrick Ewing in his heyday. Anything around the rim. First couple. <laughs> Get him out. So Montez Mathis with the goaltend. Stanley with the foul. Hawkins to the line. And a chance for a three-point play. And Ryan Hawkins continues his outstanding play. Averaging over 20 points per game in the last five as Coburn. Tariq Coburn off the bench tries. And the rebound and put back for Posh Alexander. Uh, Coburn can shoot it. And plays with a lot of confidence. Alexander's been a great help, taking a little pressure on Nembark. Good handle, solid. Automatic switching on the perimeter. Paluma going to work on Stanley. Oh, nice find. Two shot for Diesel with the teardrop. Great. And I don't know if you notice, Hawkins went all the way to the corner as another outlet. Such a wise performer on the floor. Champagne. That's Stanley. Posting against Fizel, and he turns it over. Picked nice off by Alexander. Yeah, nice defense. Paluma on the drive. Nice adjustment at the rim. Real good. Nice give up by Alexander. They don't get back. And Alexander makes a pay with an easy two. Well, he loves the chest to chest. Big time delivery at the rim. You don't want to arm wrestle that kid. No. <laughs> Although it's a short list of guys in the Big East that I would choose to arm wrestle. <laughs> Well, I would be one of them. Probably. Yes, maybe. I think you cheat, though. <laughs> Eight to shoot for Nemhart. Turn in the corner. Kaluma, three on the shot clock. Okay. Nemhart's going to have to launch. And the rebound kicks to Kaluma. Kaluma inside. Count it. And the foul. How about the angle? He's out, too. Just disrupted a little bit. Nice little position by Kaluma. Well, you need all your players in this league. Good to see Kelowna with well, O'Connell earlier, but just enough disruption by Fizel with a pickup and chance for the third. And Omar Stanley, quick two fouls, and he sits back down on the bench. Or no, he stays on the floor. He started to go to the bench and then was told to stay out there on the floor. Champagne is getting a breather now. Uh, Soriani out is a real problem. They don't want that big touch inside that 
He's got a little hook game in there. He started to play confidently on the offensive end. And Wusu. Here's Stanley. One dribble in, and the jumper short. Fiesel with a good box out. Yeah, what a confident stroker. Impact early for Fiesel off the bench. And Kalum. I think the pressure off of Lombard, too, with Paj on him. Different guys are bringing it up. Alexander, and that will be an offensive foul. That off arm working against Posh Alexander. He sells it, though, doesn't he? He does. Uh, if you get your position, which he has there, and you can be moving in that arm. It's so obvious, but how much are you going to get rid of him? Pesky. You know, Posh Alexander, Julian Champagne said it this week, he's the head of the train, and he really is. I mean, he is everything that you need to have at the front of this offense and defense. He's one of those kids you never have to say, hey, let's get into the game. Let's hustle. He's always here, always ready. Eight points, three rebounds already in seven minutes of play. Nice little bumps on the baseline. Coburn. Look who's in there. Posh. Really a great rebounder for his size. Steph Smith to step in two. Catch that up. Vermont guy knocks it down. Now Nemhard to work against Alexander. They got to be always under control against Posh. Hawkins, a quick fire from three. Rebound Wheeler looking to run with Posh Alexander. Well, he gets rid of it quickly, Hawkins. Flat footed delivery. Oh, look at Alexander. Talk about quick. Drop off in the corner for three, halfway down, and it pinballs to Fizel. Nice job. Went a, quite a while to get that. Lane closing for Hawkins. They have to reset. Renikishvili on the floor for the first time. Well, how about his defensive maneuver against Marquette? Marcel coughed it up. Timeout. On the floor, the Queensboro Bridge. Just way into games for such a talented player. Hope to see him get messed a little bit. Andro Mikishvili will inbound for Creighton. There's a little curl. Recurl, rescreen. Very fortunate to keep the possession. Ten on the shot clock. Love what he does here. Can I saw him? Yes, couldn't get it around Raphael Pinzone, who's on the floor for the first time since December 18. Quick three off the mark for Ade Wusu, but good news for St. John's to get Pinzone back out there. Yeah, Pinzone can handle, hits a runner, and stick a shot. He's been out since COVID in January with some health concerns. Wanted to make sure he was fully healthy and ready to go, and he's back out there now. Nemhard. With the pivot, the jumper short, and there's Pinzone on the run. Where they doubled and nobody dove for Creighton. On the baseline drive, Steph Smith with the finish. Let's move to see Champagne. He's not on the floor, obviously. Do a little bit more. Be a little more aggressive. Once he gets back in. Slow start for the Big East leading score. Has not scored 0 for 3. Bob inside the Colt Brenner. Nice Pretty. catch and finish. How about, how about a deep high low? Terrific heart. Big fella. Moving large at the rim, too. Doesn't bring it down. Smith exploding from that corner, and a foul is going to be called. He got a step on Hawkins, and Ryan Hawkins a little frustrated. Pretty good aggressive dribble. St. John's been effective with the bounce. But so look at the depth of this pass. Nice front by Wheeler. That, that'd be a perfect pass. Big time delivery. Well, kind of walks him up. Seals pretty good. Well, he's, this kid just keeps getting better. The Vermont transfer and the super senior Steph Smith with one more free throw to go. Ben Creighton up in Connecticut. Cockburner sprained that ankle. He bounced back pretty good. He did. One for two for Smith as Columa's back on the floor. Creighton with nine made field goals tonight, seven in the paint. They're really working inside against St. John's. Yeah, Greg really wanted the space beautifully. Alexander 
They speed you up. That's what happens. Very lucky to get this back. You got to know where you're going to be under control. But again, when you see spacing the distance, be available, create a passing lane. I'm very fortunate. Went off the left hand of Nywee, but boy, Raphael Pinzone making his presence felt for the first time in two months. Well, if you don't guard, you don't play for Mike Anderson. I mean, yep. he just get, his kids get after you. Under 10 to play in this first half. Jays by seven on the road. A 2 3 zone now. Making a little impact on the glass for Trayton. Quickly with a hook, a nice screen. Oh, kind of blocked away by Nyree. And St. John's has started up the other way with Wheeler. On the move, end to end. Wheeler to the rim. And it's poked out of bounds going the other way. It'll be a foul on Nyree trying to clear some space for the rebound. How about Clark Man? He may not want to get the block. He's got 2 7, I think. On the glass, but boy, he just the gates changing shots. Such a big time present. Excellent back pedals. And great to talk about this thing. Give ground, give ground, and be big. And not a good pass on the inbound. Nice extra pass. And Wheeler couldn't connect though. Kalula with a good challenge up the floor. Quickly comes Nemhard. Nemhard the lob to Kalkbrenner with a two hand flush. How about the big guy? You see the little bit. Big time sprint to the rim. Jeff Smith over the shoulder to Wheeler. A nice closeout by Coloma. On the curl, Abe Wusu back it goes. Nywee, long jump for good. And I say a Nywee. Take an advantage, huh? He's got some nice things. He's in the lineup. No Joel Soriano, if you're joining us. Ladies out with a left knee contusion for St. John's. So Nywee will get extended minutes tonight. Demhart turns the corner on Pretty Smith and the lead for Colbert. And how about the hands of Colbert? Yeah. A little heat on that drop ball for Demhart. Oh, he got a nice shot, controlling the bounce and finding. That's not hard to get caught up watching Demhart if you're a big guy and not expect that pass as Smith gets the two. Yeah. That's work to Colbert. He keeps his hands up nice and high. Demhart trapped across the timeline. Oh, a nice little post up. Kaluma off the shot fake, driving baseline, and a blocking foul. Kaluma collides with Nywe. That's bad news if you're a St. John's fan. That's number two on Nywe. They may be in the restraining area. A little late. We saw one of those last night, if you remember. Could have gone either way. Mm -hmm. Game last night, going over UConn, still getting a little yeah. conversation today. What a fun night that was. Sure was. Two high powered teams competing. Line change here for St. John's. Whole new lineup. Mathis in, Champagne back on the floor. Alexander returns. Ade Wusu. And Omar Stanley back out there with two fouls. For St. John's. Yeah, Champagne lets the game come to him. I like to see him assert himself a little bit more. Be active, new screens, nice curl here. Mathis leaving inside for Stanley who threw it down. That's his game right at the rim. That's fine. O'Connell to Colt Brenner. That double comes quickly. Somebody's got to dive. They're going to walk. Just dragged a little bit. That little space dribble to get away from the double. Well, the Ryan's getting it done again. Alexander's done a pretty good job taking the heat off him. Uh, but the big thing, I think, Crane's got to come with some cuts on that double. I mean, pretty good vision. They're going to try to do some that diagonal pass out. For an open look. Mismatch inside, Champagne and Nembar. Ade Wusu will launch from deep, and that off the top of the backboard, tipped out of bounds, and it'll belong to Creighton. Interesting. Champagne's guys, hey, come on, bring it down to me. 0 for 6 from 3 to start this ball game for St. John's. In the first meeting, they were 5 for 20. Trying to get the ball out of Nembar's hand. That's why Alexander's very important. But they get right into you. Well, there's the head of the snake moving it over <laughs> to Trey Alexander. Do you think he heard them talking about it? 
Alexander. And yeah, that's a travel. It looked like he slipped a little bit when he got inside the paint. He's pretty good, but he jumps stop, generally speaking, when you watch him. Drive, draw, and kick. He's a little over the official. A little stubby toe job here. Yeah, you're right. Last night we blamed it on ice in Hartford. I don't know if you can do that here. Yeah, we don't have any mops here. He's delightful. My feet are warm, by the way. <laughs> change. Stanley will try, and that 12 footer drops for Omar Stanley. He's got four. We've got to get that arm out of the way. Back out to Hawkins. A nice rest for Hawkins, too. Alexander to work. Seven on the shot clock. Nemhard has to hurry. O'Connell with two to shoot. Has to hoist. And it's rebounded by Alexander. Excellent defense. Great defensive trick. Real solid. Can they get this guy going? Nice. Stanley. Stanley. Oh, how about Stanley? How about Champagne doing some things? Terrific gift. A 6 0 Stanley run. You know, listen to the line of Pro Scouts. They just love Champagne's game. Size and shooting. And at this level, he's got to shoot a little bit more. Call Brenner will quiet this crowd. Uh, Mike won't like that. He's going to shut him out. He can come big. Here's Champagne. He's going to shut him out for long. He does let it come to him. First points for Champagne. O'Connell trying to answer. It'll pinball out. Offensive rebound. Hawkins throws it to the rim. And Colt Brenner fouled on the floor as he gets the rebound. Yeah, got a trip on there. Hawkins had a nice look inside. Uh, didn't convert. Yeah, we talked about Champagne trying to get him involved a little bit. He does here. Come off screens. But this one really on suffers big time. Bang. Stanley. And how about this? This is his game. Catch, shoot. We don't want to put it on the deck as well. It keeps the defense honest. Big foul there on Stanley. His third. So three on Stanley. No Joel Soriano tonight with a left knee contusion. Nywe has two. And so a little smaller lineup right now. Wheeler in to play the post. That goes Kalkbrenner right away. Hart driving in with Kalkbrenner screening Wheeler off. Yeah, nice heads up play by the big guy. Four point game. Good one here in Queens. Wheeler. The three makes it a one point game. Oh, that's tough, tough cover for Kalkbrenner. And then a turnover to the rim. And one. St. John's with the lead. They do not pack the tack, do they? With such energy. They got a score to get ready. <laughs> with about halfway through this first half. On the other end, Clark Runner on the floor. Wheeler's got to guard him. Creighton's got to go give him some touches. Hawkins now into them hard with Smith on him. And that's going to be a walk. Another Creighton turnover. They're getting sped up, yeah. aren't they? They are. No, but that's the whole philosophy. It's to do the things you're unaccustomed to, you're uncomfortable. It may not be a steal. It lacks some cerebral input. Seven turnovers. St. John's has cashed in for nine points so far. We'll see what they do with this one. Keelan's really got a tough match with Champagne. Screen, and then they give him a pin down. Wheeler. There's Mathis. Driving on Kalkbrenner, and Mathis able to wriggle to the rim and get it to drop. That kid is unabashed. Not afraid of the moment either. Athletic, he's tough. He's got Kalkbrenner now in this little press. There's Kalkbrenner matched up against the 6'2 Steph Smith. Extra pass, Hawkins. That's a huge three for the Jays. Extra pass was a key comment, too. Hawkins always in the right spot. Meanwhile, St. John's, they've made nine of their last ten shots to take this lead. That three off the mark for Champagne. Well, they are right there, even on a miss. Nembhard 
as he had to work so far in this first half. Nine seconds and counting and out of bounds. It'll stay with the Blue Jays. Timeout on the floor. 36-35. The Blue Jays. He has a lot of free time. <laughs> when the three Ryans are on the floor, they're plus 140. When there are no Ryans on the floor, Creighton is minus 25. In other words, their team is outscored by 25 when you're Ryan free. Oh, my goodness. He must have a lot of free time. <laughs> These notes like an encyclopedia. Nemhard with the shot clock winding down, and that's a shot clock violation. Oh, a good trick. That's that's frustration good. on the Creighton bench. Yeah, good, good set. Not getting organized quickly enough. Alexander to bring it up for St. John's. There's a little bumps on the baseline. Empty side, ball screen. Kaluma challenging, but no problem for Shan Penny, who's got five. 12 minutes without even looking for some of those minutes around the bench. Well, Alexander just denying Nemhard, finally able to get it. Shot clock trickling down to 20. Uh, uh, Hawkins now can do some damage with Posh on him, particularly in the box area. He's got a little double high pop. No, oh, really easy hard. find for Craig Brenner. Boy, nice call. Got a big fella on the sideline. That was an all Ryan special right there. <laughs> I've had enough of Ryan. <laughs> Wheeler with the jumper. Paul Brenner the rebound. Nemhard the push. End to end. And the freshman blocked off. Boy, he really does a great job pushing. The hook. Yeah. A little extra step. Wheeler with some pretty good defense down there and then thrown back into play by Wheeler. All around good work. Baseline drive. Nice Here comes Mathis crashing in. Count the bucket and a foul. Really great timing on the cut. Both going to give him ground. I think the right call. Well, nice little comeback by St. John. Solid for starting to score. Sets up that pressure. I'm not sure Greg McDermott agrees with that call. No. First foul on Kalkbrenner, 15 foul. Alexander with two, Nemhard, Kalkbrenner, Hawkins, each with one for the Blue Jays. And Montez Mathis having a fine first half. Ten first half points for St. John's. He's been solid, always in the right spot defensively as well. The Rutgers had some kids, Jacob Young, Boy. Olivia Ryan, Mathis. And now a takeaway on the inbound. Another Creighton turnover. Champagne's three blocked by Hawkins and Kaluma able to save it. Hey, look at the handle by Nembard in traffic. Kind of fortunate to keep that one. Kaluma. Against Mathis, yeah. terrific defender. They like this ISO. Kaluma, baseline to the step. Excellent, you mentioned it. Great defense. Contain your own guy. Everybody stays at home. And a bounce. Everybody's standing still on this particular play, but once again, Mathis in the right spot doing the damage. Well, Montez Mathis has been at two schools where you don't see much time on the floor if you can't defend. First Rutgers and now St. John's. That's, that's a valid point, no question about it. Checking out the turnover margin. Training the St. John's. Oh, they really are struggling. Possessing that ball. Ten turnovers, only two for St. John's. That's what St. John's will do to you. You saw Greg McDermott in the background of that last possession trying to calm his team down. He wanted them to slow down a little bit. Well, we got the mop out, by the way. Mm -hmm. No ice. Just some debris. But it's very difficult when you're energized in a game to try and control the dribble and the pace to make a good decision the way St. John's gets into your shirt. Mathis again. Oh, he's hitting the three. Look out. Just a 22% shooter, but it's all falling for Montez Mathis. And he had Clarkbrenner who stayed in, didn't come out, didn't challenge. 
Brian Dembar. This wears you out, though, when you got a guy like Pat. Nice show by Champagny. Hawkins, the three, contested by Champagny, and the rebound on the weak side, ripped down by Adewusu. But Champagny to work against Hawkins. The finger roll just wouldn't go, and out of bounds off the left hand of Kaluma. Yeah, you can just feel he was going to do some damage. They're getting involved in the game a little bit more. They're finding him, getting some more touches. What a 6 0 burst for Mike Anderson's team here at the end of this first half. And Tariq Coburn in, and Montez Mathis gets a warm round of applause. 13 points in 13 minutes. And both ends of the floor are really worked hard. 11 of those 13 were after the last four minutes for the transfer from Rutgers. And Coburn out because of that defensive problem, a little matchup situation. Look at this play. Oh, beautiful to Posh Alexander. A nice little screen, but also the inbound defender's got to face the ball to the corner. Ravikish Bielik, fresh legs off the bench. Hawkins to the baseline, a little strong, but it'll go in. Count the bucket. He would have gone and counted either way. It caught the net on the way up. They do a nice job faking the handoff and exploding to the rim. Hawkins with 13 in this first half. Now Green's got to think stop and get an opportunity at the other end. Look at the mismatch with Champagny. Maybe Gina's really giving away four or five inches. Creighton has a foul to give here still if they choose to give it. Six to shoot. Alexander tried to coax a call on that shot. Kaluma the rebound. The Jays can hold for the final shot. And Emhard fortunate to keep that possession. Okay. Balance. Lifty dribbling. Kaluma the three. Off the heel. Champagny with the rebound. He'll heave it towards the rim. It'll end up in the student section. <laughs> no points for that. They got an applause. Now. What a nice comeback. Defensively. Well, they have a problem with it. Switch sides there. Montez Math is going to inbound in front of us. Court side. Second half underway with Posh Alexander. Champagne. Nice pass. And a nice adjustment for Nywee. Yeah, that, that Champagne is really a well-rounded player. Yeah, the shot hasn't been there tonight, but he's impacted the game in so many other he, ways. He does, you know, and a good rebounder, good defender. Of course, on this team, if you don't defend, you're not going to play. <laughs> Jays down nine. Looking at that high low out of the gate. Alexander had two fouls in that first half that limited him Perfect. right back out there into the scoring call. He's a nice looking prospect, this kid. Nice fluid game. Now he's not a bad shooter. A try from there, just off the rim. We've seen him hit there tonight. Yeah, he's two for six from threes. Nice. Hawkins, a little hesitation. Nye there to help. O'Connell. They'd love to see him get down, but way off. At 28 in the win in Omaha. But tonight, just one for seven with that gimpy ankle hampering him. You know, that's part of it, too. You're shooting. You know, people think you're nuts, but the foot and the ankle, very important in your fluid motor stroke. There's Alexander from the elbow. Oh, Rolls nice. that one home. And he has Posh. Bum bomb. Delivered a knockdown. Jays back within five now, 48-43, and Champagne didn't see it coming. Math is fortunate for the Red Storm. He was there. Well, you got to see the ball at all times. A little mismatch here. Wheeler against Nemhard. Nemhard giving up about oh, nine inches. And a nice shot by Cookman to help him as well. Champagne, the leaner, won't go, and Paul Brenner pokes it free from the hands of Nywee. Up the floor, Kids Hawkins. Good. Kids good. <laughs> I just push that ball out, dribble, speed to the tin. Can see the experience that he plays with. Part so intelligent about the game. Well, he was Northwest Missouri State. All they did was win when he was there. National titles. He was the MVP of the title game a year ago. Champion is asserting himself. Well, he may have gotten that call. Oh, took his eye off it, diving for it. Ball still loose. Paul Printer's got it in the tie up. We'll keep it with Craig. Oh, 
A little fumbleitis in the open floor for the big guy complimenting his hands earlier. Good hustle. At the end of this, he took his eye off it. Jays keep the possession and inbound deep to Nemhart. Just afraid of any trapping in the corner on the baseline. Out of bounds. Empty side. Almost a take away for Posh Alexander. Oh, he is always around. Hawkins looking for the tie. Short on the three, but he gets his own. O'Connell will try. Yes, and Mathis there for the goal. That's his game today. Nywe. And a whistle offensive foul on Nywe. That's his third. It could have been a walk before as well. Yeah, great. Give it up in the body. A little counter punch defensively by Creighton. This is one of those. Uh, sometimes the guard gives it up a little too early for a guy like that. And Mathis, generally speaking, with that champagne, you get something done. Only the third turnover tonight for St. John's. That's sometimes been a problem for the Red Storm, but that's their first in about 17 minutes. Pretty impressive, really. See the length there on the inbounds, Wheeler's hands. Now it's a position inbound. You can't run it. Yeah, reset the shot clock to 29, I believe. Yep. Three turnovers tonight for a team averaging almost 13 per game, but... We showed just that earlier. Creighton's not a team that forces a ton of turnovers. No, that's not their game. A lot of blue shirts down here. It's dangerous. Alexander. He's had the hot hand early. A couple of buckets in this second half. Drag, but Hawkins has his pocket picked by Mathis. There's the back of pace. Wheeler, the lob inside. Champagne from Posh Alexander. That's how you want to break. Well, they, they all started with great defense. Impatience on the offensive end leads to an open floor opportunity. Oh, nice crossover by Alexander. Whips it into the corner to Nemhard. Finding Hawkins for three, and there's the answer. But he gets in position to dominate at a great time as well. 18 for Hawkins tonight. He plays well as a different basketball team. Started it early in the year when Arizona State didn't have a good game. Drive inside, Alexander so strong. 12 for Alexander, nice spin by Nemhard. Nice stop to Hawkins again. He knew that was short, and the rebound to St. John's. And yeah, that favors a quick jack in the pressing team. Unless you convert it. Alexander spinning into Kalkbrenner. Big man couldn't get a hand on that one, and Alexander throwing it off Kalkbrenner. But it may have hit the foot of Alexander, and it'll stay on this side. It did not hit his foot until the ball was out of bounds. He does hustle, though. doesn't give up on anything. He's in a low box area. See if they make that adjustment. And Wusu will inbound. Kaluma in front of him. Wheeler looking. Alexander. With Champagne posting Smart. over Alexander, a little bit strong. The tip won't go, and Kaluma snares the rebound. Smart play, though. I like it. Out of the gate, take advantage of that mismatch, size disparity. Have a good ball game in the Big East. Tight game. Five minutes gone in this second half. Hawkins trying for the three. Kalkbrenner tips it to Kaluma. He left that short. Kaluma had it, taken away. Wheeler on the run. Nice give by Posh. Who's a good passer? Nice pump fake. And the step in for two won't go. Good offensive rebound. Yeah. And it's Stanley again. Yeah, really nice contribution despite his foul problems. Omar Stanley with eight. He has one double digit game all year. That was 14 points in the debut against Mississippi Valley State. Alexander really? patient underneath. He does a great job jump stopping. Reminds a lot of going over kids. They're terrific in that lane as well. Wheeler with the foul. They yeah, get that guy airborne here. He's doing the drive. Shed Wheeler. A good presentation. Trey Alexander, for as young as he is, might be the most effective shot faker that the Blue Jays have. Yeah, he's a talented kid. A nice contribution. Takes the pressure over Lombard as well, particularly in this pressing kind of a situation. 
Yeah, it was a problem for the Jays when he was in foul trouble in that first half. There's Stanley again. He's feeling it on the drive. Oh. Stanley with a left hand and another figure. Oh, yeah, just beating. Bringing him away from the rim, lifting him a little bit. Not as comfortable out there. Alexander. He's feeling comfortable. Tough skip for Kaluma. They're trying to get, they're trying to get caught by the involved. Nemhart against Stanley. Bumped. Ready. Finishes. Uses that body. Get that control. Nice little kiss. Four for Nemhart. And they lose Stanley had to carry him off. One got of the a, Blue Jays down there and out of bounds. And they got a hand in there. Boy, Stanley has been solid. Champagne. The leader will go just three for 15 from the floor. Nice get back with the three to fall one point game. Oh, does Nembard know his team? What a great feel. 21 for Hawkins tonight. He's averaged over 20 now in the last six Blue Jay games. Double double. Let's put it on fire. High hand challenging the deep shooting Smith. Smith and switch. Trying to find some space against Kaluma. Just couldn't find the shoot. Now they woosu in inside. Stanley gonna have to hoist and hit. Time opportunity for him. Alexander, a little stutter step. He was close to walking, but he gets the two. Get that one on the floor. Nice game. Oh, Denmark. Let's hope he's okay. Hurt his arm though. Grabbed his right wrist. Oh, oh my. He, oh no. No. Oh my. Yeah, he knew right away. They, they rallied should. without Alex O'Connell in their last game against Marquette. They held off UConn with no right. Kalkbrenner. But this is a tough one. No question. Chris Coloma damaged as well with that knee. One point game. Back to work with Ade Wusu. The step back over Alexander nice. and Hawkins the board. Nice check out inside by the Bigs. This young man going to be very yeah, important. He, he's the key guy. Every kid is really to us to play sound. Just do what he's capable of. Nothing extra. There's Bizel against Stanley. Double comes to knock it away. Good hands by Ade Wusu. He'll bring it up the floor. Driving inside. The dish to pin zone off the bench. The three falls. They told us he was going to play to knock him down. Well, he hasn't played in a couple of months. Averaging almost four points per game, but his first point since his last game, December 18th. They can hit a runner to make a jumper. There's Alexander inside going the other way. And now the officials are going to talk about this one, and I think it's going to stay on this end of the floor. Rebound the ball. Yep. No, they're living in the paint on us right now. 23 living in the paint. We got to get a little bit more resistance out there. Okay? Then once we get it, boom. We're making them play defense on this end here. And Hawkins has it poked out of his hands. Is that 44, by the way? I believe that is 44, <laughs> yes. It's good. Get them alert. Be tuned to what's going on. Hulk Brenner coming back in now. Fizel will leave for the Blue Jays. Clark Brenner can get some opportunities now. Nikishvili back it goes to Trey Alexander. A little zone on that out of bounds. Alexander will launch from deep. That three will not go. Hulk Brenner tips it into the hands of Ade Wusu. And Champagne wasn't alert again. Had one almost uh, off his back earlier. His pin zone. Oh, not afraid to jack one up. In and out. Offensive oh, rebound. Stanley has been the difference wow. tonight. Ooh, no impact by Coloma on that particular play. Got to screen his guy off. Nobody's, his double, nobody's, nobody's posted either. There, late. Almost got the 10.
Inside, Kalkbrenner rolling to the rim and back on the board. Oh, I love the way he keeps that ball nice and high. They had it right after a while. Four-point game, Ade Wusu kept the dribble alive as he went down. And zone. Thinks offense, doesn't he? He sure does. Not afraid in his first game in two months. Alexander working it up the floor with Pinzone on his hip. Alexander, a little jump stop, slithers to the rim, oh. counted in the foul. I tell you what, he knows it's all on his shoulders right now. Good patience, good prying, ability to finish at the rim, handle the pressure. Because Hawkins really bailed them out, as you know, with that one second left in the backcourt. A big time conversion. Now, the injury, if you're just joining us, to Ryan Nemhart a few moments ago, he is out for the game and maybe longer. It was a significant arm or wrist injury. And Trey Alexander, who was a commit to Auburn, decommitted, signed in June of this year, is going to carry a lot on his shoulders. The true freshman going to be charged with running this team against this pressing defense. He's going to grow up this trip, when you think of it. No question. Going up for Providence Providence. next weekend. He's had a good night. Four turnovers, but 11 points, five of seven shooting. Turnovers against this club is, they come easily some evenings. See if they can get O'Connor going a little bit too, but I would write Buck on as often as I could. Oh, Stanley. Got to attack a little bit. Smith. The three falls for Steph Smith. He is really not with a big time closeout on that. Gonna wrap on a night where Julian Champagny is just three for 15. St. John's keeping Creighton at bay. Same play, two little drag screens. Hawkins attacking to the rim for two more. Hawkins with 23. And Buck right on the right spot kept his guy busy. Here's Smith again. Baseline. Stanley finds Posh. Lost it to Colkbrenner. Oh, he's around, though, isn't he? O'Connell. There's Colkbrenner back out. Alexander toes the line for a three. And Creighton on top by one. I'd say Greg McDermott does a great job impacting on the psyche of his team. They play with a lot of confidence. Smith says that lead will be short-lived. That's a movement right now. The excitement. Who's going to make some stops? Alexander, the aggressor, back to sit out. Andronikas Vili. Andronikas Vili in pain after that attempt and he goes down his holding shoulder. his right shoulder goodness gracious he doesn't want to be pulled up uh, Greg lamenting today about the shortage on the bench and the injuries and eight scholarship players two of them with O'Connell and Kaluma injured now Nemhart down and this always hand got caught up there you see that yep He's shaking it off, though. Trying to stretch it out in the Creighton huddle right now. And with the Nemhart injury, they cannot afford another loss in the no, backcourt. Not at all. It's the right arm, but he put the left up on the rim somehow. Well, it took having to be in shape to yeah. play at this level. Just imperative. First foul on Mathis on that play. Free throws coming. Assuming Andro Nikishvili can shoot them, he will shoot the free throws or it will be a substitution. So Paul Brenner has been chosen to Mike, shoot. Right. Mike has the right. Yep. With the injury, Mike Anderson gets to choose. He chooses Kalkbrenner to shoot the two free throws. Now he's a pretty good free throw shooter, a big man at 71%. I guess there are not many choices when you look at them, though, right? <laughs> Speaks to the depth of that team. 69, 80, 80, 81, 81. And Alexander and Hawkins. Goodness. 
One for two, and Kaluma battling for the rebound, but a foul on Arthur Kaluma. That is his first, team second. The trainers down the corner, look at the ready. And your key was really putting some salve on that shoulder. Gonna run out of salve on yeah. that great bench this year with the Unbelievable. injuries. Unbelievable! I used to need the salve after an evening out with you. <laughs> Sam Penny, I'm not paying for the salve. <laughs> He'll go to the line for a pair. It's amazing how he blends in with the St. John's team, being such a great player. He doesn't command the ball. He's really struggled against Creighton this year. They have kept him so offensively in check. One for ten that first half is Harvey. Yep, that's correct. And three for 15 in this game. Well, he's an excellent free throw yeah. shooter, 279%. Big East Player of the Week, National Player of the Week. What a run he's had with accolades. Mm. The last four wins for St. John's, he's averaged over 26 points per game. Just making a free throw to get Ginger up to D. He had made 12 in a row, by the way, before that miss. Really riding this particular play, double high. Alexander with a little help from behind, and a tie-up is called with the block. Possession arrow gets it to the red store. Got a little bit too deep and indecisive at the same time. This is one of those you back dribble or continue out. Steve Nash like. Some of the inexperience you see, perhaps, from Trey Alexander. Didn't pop up, but he's a big time town. There you go. Really oh, good look. Yeah. Nice pass again. He can't bring it down. Mathis will back it out. And we've got a whistle and clock, clock issue again. And a timeout on the floor with this team that it's been with Greg McDermott over the last several years. It's not Chuck and Duck. Uh, it's almost by committee. Chris Hawkins is one of those guys of Kyle that can certainly ring it deep. But the real pressure, I think, is on Alexander now. Get a comfort zone, handle it, particularly the pressure. And Hart out with an injury suffered a few moments ago. Wheeler, the jumper, rolls off to O'Connell. O'Connell just one for eight tonight. Three points after his 28-point performance against St. John's in Omaha in January. He hasn't been on Champagne all the time, but he does a good job on two games in a row. Nice slip. Hawkins always active. In the back screen, the big to the box. Six on the shot clock. Alexander bump turning the corner against Naiwi. One to shoot. Kaluma has to launch it. And he hits the three from the corner. Good presence by Alexander. Didn't he panic? Get him organized in that corner. Man, what a shot. He's got 10 now. There you go. I wonder if he get a touch, Champagne. Mathis attacking Kaluma. Caught Brenner there for the rejection. Posh Alexander rejected again. Ooh. Foul call. No, no, no. Not a right call. Not a right call. Anticipation. Two really good blocks. Straight up, vertical. And a great presence again. Posh is the guy that initiated the contact. Smart play by him. Tough one for Kalkbrenner to get his second on. Yeah. Posh Alexander to the free throw line. 75% on the year and one more for the sophomore from Brooklyn. One block in 25 straight games now for Kalkbrenner. Look out, Benoit Benjamin. <laughs> a long way to go, right? He's got a nice career, though. Just keeps blossoming. A little 2-2-1 two, two, this time. Definitely have to post if they track the guards. you got to be careful around this guy. Posh always looking for the pilfer. Always with the body bump. And just as they get organized, they look up and there's 10 on the shot clock. That's what they do, make you use time or speed you up. Hawkins. Nice pump. Entered a pretty. Paul Brenner. Oh, just couldn't get it to go. Nywee there, staying solid. Underhand to Wheeler running the lane. And the rebound saved by Hawkins. Uh, great balance. Getting back. Here's Alexander. 
And he's Kaluma on stepped on that sideline. See it at least once a game, right? Well, it's unbelievable. Incredible how many times we see it. I don't remember in my younger days that happening very often because you have a three-point line, no question about it. You know, always know your location. But we've had several years since that line went I know. out, and it still happens. It does. Right with 14 turnovers, St. John's 21 points off the previous 13. So say like force 18 a game. Um, once again, Sean Penny reluctant to take his guy. And out of bounds, a turnover through the hands of Nywee. Unbelievable. I think he could have elevated, kept the dribble alive. He's got a mixed bag in there, too. We just don't see nights like this very often from Julian Champagne. No. Three at 16. And there are a number of pro scouts here, too, looking at him. Alexander, after that screen, gets deep down low. Hawkins has got to keep busy. We can see Andre Mikishvili back out there after the injury. He'll turn the corner. Nice kick. Eight to shoot. Alexander attacking. Floats up his 16th point career high. How confident was he in that turnaround, Jack? Now, Willie's going to have to step up if Champagne isn't going to provide the lift they need. He'll try right here. Wheeler's three. Oh. With Alexander scooping up rebound number four. But well, here he sees Big Mac might be such a great offensive minded coach, but they do a really solid job screening out a lot of basic stuff on the defensive end. That defense has been a big part of the Jays' rise over the last several years. It's been improving every year. And we're ruining his reputation. <laughs> Golf Brenner backing down inside. That's what you've seen all year long in the Big East from Golf Brenner. Great patience, too. Footwork. Jays back up by four, getting late in Queens. Mathis the step back. Rebound to Alexander. He Alexander got poked. got poked. Yeah, right in the left eye. He better shake it off. They're going to call. <laughs> they call this off. Ronikish Vili through three defenders hanging in the air, but Mathis the rebound off the miss. Here's Posh Alexander against Hawkins. The lead for Mathis. Bumped by Hawkins, and the ball floats to O'Connell. Numbers here, too. Hawk runner going to the rim. And a foul called on Wheeler. Smart one, though. Yeah, right very yeah, smart. smart. Stop the break. Third foul on Wheeler. Team foul number four. Back the five fouls now for the second half. Hawkins will inbound. I'll tell you, Hawkins is tireless, too, isn't he? He keeps busy. He must sleep great after basketball games. <laughs> Has to. Alexander into Colt Brenner. Double team comes to strip it away. Today, oh, Wusu. Heads up play. Nywe. From deep. As I mentioned earlier, that's his third of seven for the year. He went to school in Nebraska, Omaha Northwest High School. Burn of the hometown team. Is he sending a message? Andro Mikishvili inside the culprit. He can elevate a nice play by Champagne. All <laughs> kinds of trouble for the big man. Posh Alexander with a takeaway. Mathis on the other end. Andro Mikishvili with a foul. And a chance for one more. St. John's back on top. Nice defensive maneuver. Champagne. Lead the charge. They may be embarrassed too about what transpired, but hopefully in the past moves forward and has a great career. Yeah, yeah. cannot finish off three point play. It stays a one point game coming up on three minutes to go. Here at Carnesecca Arena. What a finish we have in store again tonight on FS1. It's the lead. Everybody stays in touch. Alexander in for the injured Nemhart. Nice coming over for the swat. How about a day Wusu? Who is? He made an impact tonight. He's got a lot of posh in him, let me tell you. There's teammates. Oh, trying to throw it down, and it gets Possession lodged. Possession this way. The Between way. the rim and the backboard, it'll be a great ball. Possession the other way. 
Well, it started with defense, though, Raph. Oh, they do a nice job collecting, don't they? Nice read, nice job with the Russo. Good passer, talented player. <laughs> you got to play D for Mike. One point game again for the Blue Jays. right through his fingertips an unforced error number 17 in the turnover department i uh, just took his eye off it maybe a little too much heat on it yeah, but all of a sudden he's looking he anticipated the dump down the clock runner before he caught it 26 points off turnovers tonight for st john's looking for two more with posh they'll try for three more are they rusu Nice rebound, O'Connell. Hook run to shield his guy, Nywe. Jays have not scored in almost three minutes. Nice pass. Kaluma inside to the rim, and the Jays' drought is broken. A one-point game. Nice little maneuver, Kaluma. Jays have matched their season high with 46 paint points tonight. 45 to go in a one-point game. Mathis got some help from Paul Brenner inside looking and a whistle and a foul. Hawkins with that reach in. Ryan is second. Sixth team foul. Five fouls have been whistled against St. John, so they have one to give down the stretch. Each team with three timeouts remaining in the possession arrow in favor of the Red Storm. Yeah, a long way to go, a long way to go in this one. So you're saying we need to push back the dinner reservation? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, why not? Game like this? Five and one in close games for Creighton. St. John's has been in seven games decided by five points or fewer. Okay, Smith on the floor now. We saw him. He can ring the bell. Over 23 threes from that young man. Nice play. Over with the finish. Hawk trying to change that match. He does. Shot. Well, he's in the right spot. Jays by one with the ball. 125 to go. I can see Hawkins keep his easel pick and slip. Or pop. Alexander. Oh, the gamble. Foul. On the floor, they had the foul to give. Six, so this yeah. will not be a shooting foul. Mathis commits his second. Jays will inbound. Great doing a nice job slipping different people into that low box area. Not necessarily Cork Brenner. They Wusu back in. Smith leaves. Watch out for Hush Alexander trying to intercept the deep pass. That went way down the floor. Over Even the head he was looking for it though. Even Bosch couldn't get it. Alexander, nice catch by Clark Brenner. Eight to shoot, under a minute to go. Kaluma, pocket picked, diving for it, picked up Alexander, three to shoot. Clark Brenner baseline jumper, tipped in. Who's there? Hawkins. Always knows where to be. Great read. Three-point game. Jays lost their floor general in this second half. In Ryan Nemhard trying to pull one out on the road in a building that's been so kind. Warriors kind of concept here with his team. And a Wusu inbounding in a three-point game. Alexander. Any foul from here on out to one and one, barring a foul on a shot. He's got to drive it. 13 to shoot. And a Wusu. Pretty give. Oh, Alexander driving inside. A lot of contact, no call, but Ade Wusu there. He's always finish it off. Kid's a tough player. Ooh, they had an open floor opportunity. And Ooh. Alexander with the foul. It'll be a one and one coming up. 81% shooter. They just compete this St. John's team. They take a hit. Wusu pursues the, bat, pursues the basketball. He and Posh got that similar strength up in the body. One free throw for Alexander so far. One for two tonight. Trying to earn the bonus. Off the heel and the rebound. Wheeler and now 
St. John's can win it. Are going to call a timeout? No. Yep. My goodness. Front end of the one and one missed. Timeout St. John's. Maybe a back screen to get him to the box. Penny tonight, three for 16 from the floor. Here's Alexander to go to work. Now they do post him up. Champagne into the corner. It's Mathis on the attack, leaning over Kalkbrenner. Won't go. Kalkbrenner the rebound. He's fouled. And boy, did Mack have him in the right spot. He's looking for an intentional foul over there. A good post defense and preparation. Well, right here, a little help by Kalkbrenner. Gets himself back in position. Whew. Doesn't bring it down. Boy, that's so key. The quick hands of the Johnnies. Hulk Brenner one for two tonight. Another one and one opportunity. St. John's does have a timeout if they need it as well. Possession arrow also favors the Red Storm. Huge free throw here. One more to go for Colt Brenner. Now go through your basics. Do the same thing on the free throw. You've done all your life. This league, right? Every That's night. Be interesting if he makes this. What Mac does? Does he give one? It's less than five. It's that time of the game. Put them on the foul line. Don't give him a chance to tie with a three. Be a one and one. It's gonna send. Andro Nikashvili into the game if Kalkbrenner makes it. Here comes the substitution. Kalkbrenner will leave. Timeout by Mack. Now timeout. They have three now. Use a little time. Yeah, a little exactly. And this Wheeler is a key matchup too if they decide to pass ahead because he can make threes. Now it's coming oh, to the sideline and a turn. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Ryan Hawkins almost ended up in Bill Raptor's lap. Yeah, he's such an intelligent player. Everybody's in the backcourt. I would imagine three at least have to run to the front court. Nyawi in the face of Hawkins and a bounce to O'Connell, who is fouled with 3.3 seconds to go. And Alex O'Connell, an 84% foul shooter. Who has not attempted a free throw tonight will go to the line for one and one. You think Greg uh, believes in Hawkins, by the way? More. Yeah, that's an important guy to inbound the pass. And O'Connell, not on his game that you normally see, and I do think it's attributable to the ankle as well. Just one for eight from the floor. All of that will be forgotten for him if he hits free throws. Front end of the one and one for the former Duke Blue Devil. And it does not go in. Picked up now by Wheeler. They don't give it. Wheeler for the tie. No! And Creighton survives on the road. 81-78. The Blue Jays.